This surprised me myself about serotonin and sleep apnea, because I know in the news there's a lot of talk about SSRIs with everything going on, but I wanted to be able to connect these two for you because it could help a lot of people. There's three big ways. The first one is inside your brain. This is where serotonin tells your brain when, how to breathe. So that's fantastic. Don't want to mess that up. Number two is inside your arteries and also your airways. Serotonin is in charge of things contracting or relaxing. So if these over contract, it's going to make breathing and sleep apnea worse. And the last one is also your airway muscle tone. So this study actually found that when you have good healthy serotonin levels, that allows your tongue and other muscles in your airway to stay strong so they don't flop back and block off your airway. That's why different things to improve serotonin function naturally, whether it's good probiotic, sunshine, etc., very helpful and also helping sleep apnea. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.